I'm Brian Crook with Paladon Americans here in Houston, Texas. We're proud to present to you our EHSY series electrohydraulic control system and actuator. We manufacture this product in both quarter turn actuators as well as linear actuators. The EHSY series actuator is available in 24 volt DC, 110 and 220 volt AC, 480 volt three phase. We also offer it in several other uh, alternative energies. Uh, solutions, which would include a solar powered unit as well as a wind turbine powered unit. Uh, we have the ability to also uh, put together the wind turbine and the solar in, in environments where you may not have wind and or solar at the same time. Uh, this product also has both analog and digital control, so we can use things like 4 to 20 milliamp modulating. We can use a voltage input to drive it open and close. Uh, but this product is now available as well in modulating. Uh, our standard fluid in this is going to be an ISO 32, uh, which is a, a traditional hydraulic fluid. Uh, it's available uh, for your service technicians in, in places like an O'Reilly Auto Parts uh, or any other parts auto parts supply place. Also, one of the unique things about our electrohydraulic, it is the only one on the market that has an onboard logic controller. This allows us to do a lot of really unique things. Um, when it comes to electrohydraulics, the industry has lacked a lot of feedback from the unit or ways to protect the unit from basically self-destructing. I'm pleased to tell you that the unit that we have here, because of the onboard logic controller, we've actually built in a lot of standard features with it. Uh, the first one that's standard is gonna be a low fluid level alarm. Uh, it's built into the hydraulic fluid reservoir and it's wired into the system in the event that the hydraulic fluid were to get to a low point, it'll actually close an alarm contact and it can notify the customer that they have a low fluid situation. The next thing that we built into this unit that protects it from self-destructing uh, is motor run protection. There's two different types of motor run protection on this unit. The first one is motor run too long. The second one is motor start too many times. Motor run too long is basically a feature that we know in the logic how long it takes for the actuator control system to open the valve. If the motor runs for three minutes on this particular demo unit, then what it'll do is it'll go into motor run too long protection. It'll display right here on the logic controller on the LCD display that the motor has run too long. It'll close the alarm contact and it'll notify uh, the control room. The second one is motor start too many times. This is especially beneficial if you had a hydraulic fluid leak or um, the valve didn't get to a complete position, basically what it would do is if the motor starts six times in 15 minutes, but your control signal hasn't changed state, it'll go into motor start too many times. Once again, it'll display right on the, on the logic controller, uh, motor start too many times, it'll close the alarm contact, and again, it'll notify a control room. These are some great features. Uh, that are built into the unit, it protects the unit, it protects you, it protects the customer. Another one is uh, if the motor, uh, or if the unit starts, but it never gets to end of travel or it doesn't complete a full open close, uh, it will notify you that or also. The next uh, feature that we have built into this is going to be uh, the auto normal mode, which is lockable, and then the manual override. There's actually a proximity switch here. When you change the unit into the manual operation, it'll say not in normal mode. It also has the ability to notify the customer's control room that it's no longer in normal operation and somebody is operating it manually or in a remote state. The next thing that uh, I want to talk about is uh, uh, the optional low temp features. Uh, this unit uh, standard temperature is going to be from 0 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. We also offer the unit in low temp applications. Uh, we add uh, a 50 watt electric heater here and we change the fluid to an aviation based hydraulic fluid that allows us to have a full functional temperature range of negative 40 up to 140 degrees or i'm sorry 180 degrees f uh, the next thing is uh, this unit is a fully self-contained contained unit one thing you can't see on here is that we have the hydraulic lines piped into both the front and the back side of the hydraulic cylinder uh, this gives you the ingress protection. You don't have to worry about dust and dirt and the environment getting into the backside or the vented side of the actuator. Because it's a sealed system, it also allows us to use one standard unit uh, with a small hydraulic fluid reservoir. 
And the reason why is every time you stroke the actuator, the only volume that this has to hold is the volumetric displacement of the rod on the hydraulic cylinder. So that's really unique with that. Uh, this enclosure here is typically the exact same size all the way up through a 20 inch, 600 pound ball valve. Um, if you go 24 inch and larger, the enclosure gets a little bit deeper for a larger reservoir, but the components are the same. So it allows standardization for the, for the operator. Another feature that we have built into this, this unit is partial stroke test. It's a great feature if you wanna prove that something works and partially stroke a valve without actually disrupting the, uh, the process that it's involved in. Uh, the other thing is we are able to automate both quarter turn valves and linear valves. Uh, quarter turn, we go up to 5.3 million inch pounds. Uh, we go up to 750,000 inch pounds spring ending. Uh, on the linear, we go up to 65,000 uh, foot pounds in linear. Um, the same power unit can be used on both uh, styles of actuator, both quarter turn and uh, the linear. Uh, the next thing is gonna be our standard enclosure. Uh, this enclosure here is going to be an IP66 rating. Uh, we also offer it in 68. Uh, and then also the enclosure is a NEMA 4 enclosure. We also offer an NEMA 4X if you're in an environment where you need a composite or a stainless steel enclosure. Every unit when it ships on the inside of the enclosure will have the customer's wiring schematic as well as a pouch here with the IOM. On the front of the enclosure, it's just blank. We cut it clean. We do offer an optional uh, open-close remote switch that is wired into the logic controller. It has the ability to communicate back to the customer's control room if somebody is operating it remotely. And we also offer a liquid crystal LCD display that will essentially emulate what's on the logic controller as well as give you the functionality for programming. This product is a zero emissions product. Uh, it also meets the new pipeline specifications 49 CFR 192 and 195. That is a specification that requires pipeline operators to have an operator sitting in a control room constantly monitoring a pipeline. Uh, in most cases, there's a lot of existing aging uh, pipelines in the infrastructure in the United States that do not have pipeline uh, monitoring ability or do not have somebody actually monitoring the valves in that case. With this system, we can also add an onboard pipeline monitoring system what this is is an additional logic controller that would wire into a pressure transmitter or transducer, and it would actually monitor the high and the low uh, of the pipeline. The customer can actually set the high-low right on the unit, and this unit has the ability to self-monitor. It also has the ability, if we are doing a solar or wind-powered wind unit, to be completely off-grid, no utility power, have the ability in a remote location where there's no utility power to actually monitor a pipeline and trigger its own shutdown. We program it into the unit that if it does shut down, it requires an operator to go out and interact and reset the unit. Uh, the next thing is the lead time. Uh, Paladin Americas, uh, this product is over 95% sourced components here in the United States. Our actuator on the back is made in our own facility in Italy. Uh, everything else is sourced uh, in the United States, the Midwest, and states like California. Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee. So we're really proud to support uh, American manufacturing and utilize components made in the USA. The other thing is the lead time. Uh, with the lead times, our standard lead time on this is three to four weeks. Uh, we do offer expedite. We've done them in as little as one week or even a couple days if need be. Um, but uh, on our modulating units, your lead time is about six to eight weeks typically, and then we can actually expedite those. The other thing is the price. Of all the electrohydraulics on the market, this product offers the most standard features. It offers the most, the only scalability, and we're able to customize this to the customer solutions, our customer's request. The price of this product, in most cases, is 50% less than most of our competitors, and some of our closer competitors are anywhere from 15 to 20% delta. So you get the most innovative product on the market the most standard features, the best lead time, but also the best price. And last but not least, we will customize everything that we do here. So we appreciate you watching this video. Uh, we look forward to answering questions for you. Have a wonderful day.